I will tell you another analogy, another story to understand. So, God is compared to a judge. If you see, what does the judge do? Have you ever noticed? Judge have to give the final statement. Means, he has to judge the situation and the judge, it is judge's duty that for some people he will award that they have to be put in the jail and to be punished and for some people he will reward by giving big number, big chunk of money or cash or title or something. So, it is judge, same person. So, for one person he is sending them to jail and for the other person he is rewarding them. So, now tell me is judge partial or cruel? He is, no, he is nothing. Judge is a judge who is never partial to anybody because he should not be partial to anybody. Otherwise, he cannot give the right judgment. So, why the question is why the judge is giving some people punishment and some people reward? What is your answer? And we all know why because some people have done something good and some people have done something bad. So, the judge gives different judgments according to the activity of the individual and according to the law of the land. So, the judgment from the judge is dependent on two things. What is the activity he has done and what is the law of the land? So, his activity is bad punishment and as per the law, his activity is wrong punish and his activity is good as per the law, then he will be rewarded. So, that is the point. So, similarly, God also does that and God is more careful. He is not negligent like us. So, there is every action what we perform is noted. At the end of our life, our account balance sheet is very much ready and as per our balance sheet, we get the next birth. So, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains very interesting uh, verse, Samoham Sarva Bhuteshu Name Dveshyostina Priyaha. So, he is saying, Samoham, Samaha, I am Sarva Bhuteshu. Among all the living entities, I am very much equal. Name Dveshyosti Na Priyaha. It is not that I like some people, I do not, I hate some people, it is not like that. E bhajanti tu maam bhaktiya mai te teshu chapeham. But those who approach me and those who follow the laws which I have told and for them I am more dear. Just like a judge is not favoring someone or is not rejecting someone, but those who follow the law of the land and those who follow the law of the government, for them judge is more favorable and he rewards them. So, similarly, when we follow the laws of God, then we are rewarded. When we do not follow the laws of God, we are punished. So, that is the point here. So, Bhagavad Gita very beautifully describes th that God is equal, is Samoham, Samaha. The Lord as Paramatma is seated in every one of us and is witnessing what we are doing and taking note of everything. So, that is the point here. So, as per the law of Newton, what Newton says, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, similarly in our life whatever we do, that reaction also we have to face. Just like as you sow, so shall you reap.